think with it. Okay. Arg. Trying to get the mixing down on this is kind of difficult. I wonder if it's the same as recording a Let's Play or similar, or is it completely different? Um, there are more knobs, because, well, with the uh, XSplit, you have control over the mic, and, uh, PC volume, I guess, but it's separate from the desktop volume, so it's not actually modifying the actual mixer, des des desktop mixer. It's its own little thing, which is handy. Uh, it makes things a little nicer. But it means that you can't test the other side as uh, easily, if that makes sense. Like, I get no feedback when I... Yeah, you can't hear it because you're hearing it. Yeah. And it's also not the, the same as what I'm hearing. Which is... The kind of big discrepancy. It's all confusing. And you have to wait until your audience is like, too loud, too soft, I can't yes. hear it. Or they say nothing. And they just make silent judgments of your stream. It's always the, the annoying part of when you uh, enter a starting stream. I thankfully know pretty well where it's all at. So I'm not too worried about it, except for that one time where I had my mic muted. But that's not a big deal. No, well, sometimes it's like, are they saying anything? Are they just being quiet? Are they supposed to be talking? <laughs> In my case, just nobody really watches, except for some people that stumble upon upon the stream. Let's see. It will go to... I've been looking for a while. No... No replies. <sighs> Is there anything... Within city heroes that you want to see? I can't really even think of anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know that much about City of Heroes. I played it for a while, and I, when I was playing it, I was confused. Because to me, it just doesn't act like a regular MMO. In like what way? It is definitely a little different. Well, like skills, I'm used to like either a skill tree or it's just the skills you get for being this job or... And then there's like all these different other things that you can pick up and use that give you like bonuses, but they kind of look like your skill icons and... It's a little different system, uh, although I do think it's kind of neat that you can enhance individual abilities. I like that square you have that's full of multicolored squares and it's like a puzzle game. Mm, which screen? It's right above your oh, skills. The, uh... Inspirations. Yeah. I They're basically never... potions. Equivocal to potions.
Although they did introduce like a whole new set of inspirations. I think they're team inspirations. So those are weird. And then there's this junk you get that you can, I guess, get better junk from, but some of it's just junk. Salvage? Yeah, I think that's it. I never- I forgot what was good, what was bad. Yeah, that- I- I never got too deep into the, uh, crafting system, which is what all that is. I mean, I kinda hate crafting systems, cause... Sometimes they're, you know, really, really good, and then sometimes they're just god-awful and you can never figure them out. This one's just very abstract. Like, everything about abilities and all that is very abstract. It's just all nebulous. I guess that's what I just can't grasp and then I'm like and then I don't know where to get my next quest from and there's so many people giving me quests and what am I doing I have no idea I still love the fact that you uh, read the newspaper to get uh, your next mission and all that <laughs> These portals are new. Night Ward. Good Night Ward. I haven't really seen too much of Night Ward. This is one of the new zones. Supposedly, there's... Uh, supposed to be a... Uh, blah, 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 what, is, what do you call them? Protests going on today or something. There's going to be like a big live stream of it. Which server? I'm guessing either Freedom or Virtue. <laughs> Which are kind of the two main ones. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have gone for Virtue at the time, but everyone was like, Stay away from those, they're all crowded, and blah blah blah. So I did. Well, I don't think protesting is going to do much good, because, like, the studio really can't do much about it. No, they're, I mean, the studio's... It's gone. Like, the, those jobs... Those people are, are not even allowed to go into their building anymore. That sucks. It's like as soon as they got that notice, they were let off. Which had had to had to been weird, because they were still working on content, still adding a, a whole bunch of stuff. Whispering coyote. Am I going to go on a vision quest? <laughs> you key. No. I'm talking to it, and it says key -y 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 -y? question mark. Maybe it's whimpering. I don't know how coyotes sound. Especially translu translucent, whispering ones. There's something in the lake. Is there? I thought I saw something splashing in the lake. Fishies. Oh, yeah, little fish. Nice little detail there. Fish are gonna kill you. I think I'm okay. Although, supposedly this entire place is being overrun with psychic energy or some such nonsense. I want to go in here. I want. I want to do the quest that goes into here. We oh, a pretty deep place to explore. Oh, it's just a, a midnighter's club. Who's this person? How's how's the uh, quality on your end? I mean, 
me expand the window. It's pretty decent. Should be just like slightly lower than YouTube quality. It's going up at about um seventeen hundred. Yeah, I'd say it's slightly better than, or slightly worse than YouTube quality. I noticed that the uh, text in the chat box was readable, which uh, surprised me. What's in here? Eh. Well, it sucks when an MMO closes. Yeah, it's... It's an interesting feeling, I guess, when it's one that you're invested in. Because this is the first time that's... That one has gone down that I've been invested in, so... Yeah, it's like... I wouldn't say like it's a part, like a part of you dies, but... I guess, you know, I can't visit that character anymore is what it feels like. Yeah. I, mean, I, I only have, like, photos of them, basically. Ah. What level is this place? Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. I'm outside the boundaries, that's why. Oops. Oh, weird. How? Psychic energy? Reminds me of Morrowind. <laughs> I feel like everything reminds me of Morrowind at this point. Where are... Badges... Exploration... Just look at my own info here. No. Oh, no, no, no. Personal info. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I always like putting weird nonsense into my character descriptions. What is that? Is that some kind of code or something? It's just random haphazard typing. Oh. It looks so random and haphazard. The the downside to this, um, from what I've heard from other people, is that uh, whenever you type any alt code into the chat box, or they load anything up with alt, alt, code, in, alt, alt code in it, it causes uh, a pause, and it sometimes does for me, but not always. So let's see, four years. I feel like I... Hmm, really? Well, what I hate about City of Heroes going down is I really liked it better than the DC and Marvel ones that are out there. Well, there's no Marvel one. Yet. <laughs> Yet. I thought there was, like, two others. I there's... know there was, um... There's Champions Online, which was made yeah. by the same company. But they split off into two different studios. Okay, how the hell do I get out of this place? This looks... Is there a map? There is. Okay. There is one, I think, Marvel MMO that's for children? based on the the 
weird looking cartoon. I forget what it's called. I think it's like Avenger Heroes, Mighty Avenger Heroes or something. They look all weird and squashed. And that's the only Marvel MMO that I'm aware of. Well, maybe, I don't know, they can do something with the code and keep the game running. It sounds like it's going to be <laughs> shut down, at least for a little while. Oh, I mean, for a little while. If it comes, I think if it comes back, that's the good thing. Uh, police box. But, you know, like I know the, what was it, the Shadow Bane? Shadow... Craft, whatever. Like those people, their MMO's completely gone. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That that came back like twice before finally dying. Like it, it switched companies. I know a lot of those people were like, just release the server code. Someone will put up a private server. Which I kind of really wish that companies would do that. I think for this game it would be a lot harder because Cryptic still has some licensing rights for the engine and some of the stuff that they're using. So even if they did want to, they have an entire other company to go through. Yeah. It would be interesting if Cryptic did pick this game back up. That would be a weird turn of events. This place is pretty cool. Very watery. Yeah, my ca none of my characters can fly for any great distance. I like the look of these... these spirits. Graveyard! Spooky! Oh, that's pretty cool. It's really beautiful. Ooh, that is nice. Can I hop on top of them? Or I, I just go through them? Can't target them. And there's MMOs like World of Warcraft that never die. At this point, it probably won't because all that code has been leaked. Which is pretty amazing. And, like, it's, it's gotta be incredibly illegal. Like, that's gotta be FBI level of infringement. As far as I know, they've never really 
gone after the private servers. Have you ever uh, tried the private server? Uh, the only private server I've ever been on are like Ragnarok Online. I, I, for, there was a while, way, way back, when I entertained the thought of trying a, a private Warcraft server. Oh, jeez. But it seems incredibly sketchy. I hear the stability is not like the regular server. And then they tweak the um, experience and whatever's. That's that, that was the kind of thing that I was interested in. Slacking spirit guide. Those spirit guides are creepy. And I want. You do to him. I blinded him. It's not that they can see, anyways. <laughs> oh, Just I can't lounging there, smiling. I think he needs some blindness too. And he stares at the whirling vortex. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know I was that much of a threat. That's what you get for slacking off. <laughs> he just he just knocks him off the taunt his friend off the building. And he's like, oh crap. I'll just do the job for you. I wanted to see what his uh, powers were. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Lol. Not really billy clubs, but... I, I don't know what you call those. Batons? Yeah, batons. That's right. I guess this is supposed to be London or something? Or London-esque? Or a little... Old... Old, uh... Wooden phone booths. Like this one. I bet... Uh -huh. It's wanna, a TARDIS! I wanna walk into it. But maybe they didn't go that far. It'd be cool if you opened it and it was a portal to something. This place is so empty though. Not much going on. Try... Not from here. Rope tall. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Go to pocket D. Close program. Wait for response. <sighs> that art on that cut scene thing. Loading screen. Oh. Our spine is broken. I'm not even really sure what's going on in that scene. She seems happily punching uh, someone who fell out of World of Warcraft. Go back to World of Warcraft. 
I think the game just crashed or it's just struggling or something. I think with it. Okay. Arg. Trying to get the mixing down on this is kind of difficult. I wonder if it's the same as recording a let's play or similar. Or is it completely different? Um, there are more knobs. Because, well, with the uh, X split, you have control over the mic. And, uh, PC volume, I guess. But it's separate from the desktop volume. Discrepancy. It's all confusing. And you have to wait until your audience is like, too loud, too soft, I can't yes. hear it. Or they say nothing. And they just make silent judgments of your stream. It's always the, the annoying part of when you uh, enter a starting stream. I thankfully know pretty well where it's all at, so I'm not too worried about it. Except for that one time where I had my mic muted. But that's not a big deal. No, sometimes it's like, are they saying anything? Are they just being quiet? Are they supposed to be talking? <laughs> In my case, just nobody really watches. Except for some people that stumble upon, upon the stream. Let's see. We will go to... I've been looking for a while. No, no replies. <sighs> Is there anything within City Heroes that you want to see? I can't really even think of anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know that much about City of Heroes. I played it for a while and I, when I was playing it I was confused. Because to me, it just doesn't act like a regular MMO. In like what way? It is definitely a little different. Well, like skills. I'm used to like either a skill tree or it's just the skills you get for being this job or... And then there's like all these different other things that you can pick up and use that give you like bonuses but they kind of look like your skill icons and it's, it's a little different system uh, although I do think it's kind of neat that you can enhance individual abilities So it's not actually modifying the actual mixer, desk, desk, desktop mixer. It's its own little thing, which is handy. Uh, it makes things a little nicer, but it means that you can't test the other side as uh, easily if that makes sense like I get no feedback when I yeah, you can't hear it because you're hearing it yeah and it's also not the the same as what I'm hearing which is the kind of big difference